Where are the best fireworks? I think the best fireworks are when you're um when you're ri when you're riding around on Staten Island on on 4th of July uh, once it gets dark because the fireworks are at ground level. It's like going through uh it's like going through a like, great adventure when they have that animal habitat. You can go through and like a giraffe walks by your car. It's like you're walking around the fireworks are being launched at car level. It's like driving through a combat zone. And you don't know who's shooting fireworks off either. It's just every house might be a good candidate. You like those local fireworks when all of a sudden... Local fireworks are scary. But Staten Island, man. You drive up and down those side streets. That is a sight to behold. When I was a kid once, I do remember a story when I was a kid with fireworks. You know, like when you're a kid and you're at, and then like you realize like a friend of your parents, like you don't realize, you think that they're fun. Like, oh, that guy was fun when you're a kid. And then like, as you become an adult, you realize, oh, that guy was, was trash. Like my parents were friends with trash. And it's like some work buddy of my father, like had a 4th of July, 4th of July uh, celebration at his uh, house. And I remember walking, uh, walking, uh, you know, watching them on the back porch where he's shooting them off. And then they were like, yeah, we got this thing called the birthday cake. We're going to light it off. The birthday cake. And look, I was a kid. I don't know much about fireworks. They take this thing. And they show this. It's literally like a hat box. It's a hat box filled with fireworks. They're like, yeah, we're going to light off the birthday cake now. And they lit that thing. And I remember the, the fireworks were shooting at every possible angle. They were going every which way. I mean, like, sideways. They were literally going, like, parallel to the ground. I had to hit the... I remember my mother pushed me onto, like, the... Like, between cars parked in the the gravel driveway and I just remember having like gravel like my face pressed into gravel as it was a combat zone with fireworks shooting off in every direction we were literally hiding between cars yeah great birthday cake yeah it was thrilling almost got my face blown off fascination with fireworks man I do not get local fireworks I'm going to light this thing it's going to explode watch this it's just like what the experts do but not good you know that thing that you can go watch and watch people do it well well I'm going to do it and I know nothing about this other than I light this thing it's like, play, it's like playground basketball versus the NBA and also, can I just ask, what, uh, for playground basketball, what is the, uh, what, 
What is the all-time three-point goal percentage for playground basketball? 3%? 3% of those shots get made? You watch at a, at a playground <laughs> and um, these guys hoisting up these threes? It's like, why are you doing that? None of you make them. No one on the playground makes those three-pointers. The worst shooting ever. Should be a law. No three-pointers on the playground. It's not even an NBA three. And you guys can't, you make none of them. I'll literally go by a, a playground basketball and I'll just be like, he's going to miss. Yeah, that guy's going to miss. And then I'll, I'll be with my uh, lady friend or with someone else. They'll be like, well, how'd you know they were going to miss? Oh, because the shot was from more than four feet out. Because it's playground basketball and they're all generally terrible. Yeah. I'd say it's 4% has got to be the, the overall average for three-pointers made on playgrounds throughout history. FMU, you're on the air.